Wallace Brower. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit rough around in the back road, but yeah, it's not too bad. Good weather, good crowd. Both again. Pretty hard to miss you out there, mate, in that beautiful purple machine as you fly along out there. Russ say, I was up here, Scotty Lambert and I were up here watching that uh, watching that race, doing a bit of a call. Um, and you looked a little bit like you were struggling to get it settled. Is that just, you know, because you're showing off for the crowd? Um, I wish I could say yes, but uh, <laughs> uh, we just made a couple of little changes to the boat, so I hope it will set, set away a little bit there in our back straight, so a bit more speed out of the city here too much. Mate, and I know you've been a key driver behind this whole concept of 95 mile an hour class, and this is the first time this has been run in the Victorian Championships, it's, um, it, mate, it's credit to you and, and the people behind it who are getting it involved, um, must be pretty excited mate, because you know, you're running up at the pointy end. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it, it, it's going to be a sensational class. We'll turn out a boat today. A couple of new boats are coming out of the shed, so onwards and upwards into the class. Um, hopefully, you know, the club keep on supporting it by making a key supporter to it. Thank you very much to the boys here and the girls. Um, yeah, so more boats coming out of the shed, more people have to go and have some fun. Yeah, absolutely right. And that's the thing with um, you know, with the 95 mile an hour class because. You know, it's it's incredibly competitive now. I haven't actually had the word from uh, from Jono about breakouts. You know, because you and I both know that you can win the race at 95.1 miles an hour, and but no, oh, it's all over for you. Have you had any? Have you heard anything? Mate? Um, I mean, everybody goes out there with a the GPS and hooked up to them, and we all get checked when we come back in. So I think there was one boy that uh, broke out in that first race. So, uh, I was wondering if you're going to say anything because I think there was too, and I'm not going to name it yet because I'm not sure if it's official. I think I saw a number of something like 95.1, point two, something like that. Oh, I can't say, but I know it wasn't Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment. You're pleading the fifth of the end. Mate, it's great, it's great to have you. Thanks for coming up to have you, Yak. Um, it'll be good to see you out there again, mate. Um, you got another race this afternoon. Yep. yep, we've got one more to go. So, yeah, hopefully this wind can die down a little bit and the show can keep on going. Right, um, now another bloke that uh, we both both know pretty well and he's, um, he's part of the APBA committee. Um, he's, uh, he's been around for a long time and uh, he's actually been a key driver in getting this up and running as well. He's joined us today, hasn't he? Um, the uh, the trophy presenter himself, isn't he? He's here, is he? Hey, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah, Johnny's here. Yeah, he's a uh, he's been a key key person, key driver behind the class and I um, suppose it's, you know, a lot of thank you goes to himself for getting the class up and running so we can get some more boats out of the shed and, and, and more boys and girls can go a race and have a bit of fun. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, talking about your boat for a second, um, engine-wise, LS engine, 6, six litre, 6.2? 6.2, it's just an LS3, it's just a basically stock standard crepe motor. Uh, we just take the injection off, put a manifold and a carby on it, and uh, rev it up to 6900, and that's it. Yeah, it's a great thing, and that's what I think, because obviously getting into boat racing is pretty daunting. You know, think, hey, what do I have to do, what do I have to know, do I need to be a professional engine builder? No, and, and that's what the idea behind class racing. You saw it out there, Tim Martin out there in the outboard. I've raced in 95 mile an hour. You guys managed to make me look like a school child, but I had a great time. I was out there in rebound, uh, sorry, in Leisure Sports Mate. We had an absolute cracking time out there, and that literally is what it's about. You don't have to be doing 100 miles an hour to be racing. No, and the whole idea is you don't have to go and spend you know, $100,000 on, on a race boat either. You can just go and buy a crate motor, you know, 10 grand for an LS motor, put it in the boat, it's going to do 90, 95 mile an hour. Your maintenance costs are, are very minimal. Um, pump fuel and, uh, you know, two jerry cans of fuel. Go, go racing for the weekend. It's not a bad way to do And, mate, and obviously people obviously don't know you well, but obviously you get a, plenty of chances to eat a pie just judging by your physique, mate. Hey, thanks for coming up and talking to us, mate. <laughs> we'll see you throughout the weekend. Good luck this afternoon.